formation inside the like the, inside the blood, like it is derived from damage to the blood inside the blood, and then it's damage to the wall of the blood vessel. Okay, uh, someone else will tell me uh, what is the difference between intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway of coagulation. Yes, please. Um, I think that extrinsic pathway occurs in the blood vessel outside. Outside the blood vessel. Yeah. Okay, she has a uh, definition according to her, not according to me. Extrinsic <laughs> pathway is outside the blood vessel and intrinsic pathway is inside, inside the blood. Yeah. Anyway, would you like to improve on her definition? Okay, I will ask a simple question before you get me confused. Listen, uh, you bring a very fine sterilized needle, stick into my vein, take 5 ml of my blood, my personal blood from the vein, 5 ml. And you clean a very clean tube and you put my 5 ml blood into tube. And will it get coagulated there or not? It will get coagulated. This blood you took from my body, right, and put into what is this? A very clean tube. In a very clean tube and in that gla glass tube, my blood went co under coagulation process. This coagulation which occurred within the glass tube, is it by intrinsic pathway or extrinsic pathway? Yeah, people who believe this is intrinsic pathway, they should raise their hands. These are the people who believe that coagulation going on in the glass tube is intrinsic pathway. Okay, and people who think it's extrinsic pathway, no one want to be wrong? <laughs> it is intrinsic pathway, yes. So, why we call it intrinsic pathway? Why? Listen, we call it intrinsic pathway because in the beginning when doctors were trying to understand coagulation process, right, they were always surprised that blood in the veins is in fluid form, liquid form. As soon as they bring the human blood and put into some container, it undergo coagulation. They try to clean the container more and more. However, they make it clean, still it coagulate. They say that we took the pure blood from the vein and put in the container and container was very clean and this pure blood still went under coagulation. So they inferred there is something within the blood which initiated coagulation. So, this, there is some intrinsic mechanism which we don't understand and that produces coagulation. As sometimes when you fail, you think there is something intrinsic in the exam, you don't understand but you fail. In the same way, they said that when you take the blood, put into a clean bottle and still let coagulate, there is some intrinsic mechanism within the substance of blood which lead to coagulation. Is that right? Later on they came to know, they call that factor which lead to coagulation, they say, they called initially it simply contact factor. Later on one doctor came, he said, no, my name should go down the generation, he said, Hegman factor. Then another doctor came, he said, no, 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 remove his name, he said, factor 12, right. So they say in the blood, within the intrinsic mechanism of blood, there is some factor 12, when it touches some non-endothelial surface, it activates the coagulation. Now, this is intrinsic coagulation. I will explain the full pathway. Initially, you just understand intrinsic coagulation pathway is a pathway which lead to coagulation, right, without addition of any external substance to the blood. It is intrinsic property of the blood that it undergoes coagulation under certain circumstances, right. But what is extrinsic pathway? What is extrinsic pathway? Can extrinsic pathway of coagulation occur outside the body? No. It can occur. Let me tell you. How, how the name came extrinsic? As I told you, there were some doctors who were taking the blood, putting into very clean containers and they finding still coagulation occur. They say, okay, there is something intrinsic to the blood which lead to coagulation. Then, I think by mistake or by chance or with some intuition, someone added citrates. You know citrates are positively charged or negatively charged? Citrates, C I T R A T, sodium citrate. Never heard of citrate. Citrate, okay. You call it citrate, okay. Citrate. 
right, the citrate or citrate is negatively charged, right? It is really citrate. I don't know actually. My English is like uh, personal my own. Okay, you call it citrate or citrate. It doesn't matter. They will still remain negatively charged. So what did they do? Attention, please. They added some citrate or some substance into the blood, and that blocked the intrinsic pathway of coagulation. Then doctors became very happy. They say that when blood is put into a clean container and we add some substance which neutral like citrate which neutralizes the calcium to some extent you know citrate are negatively charged they neutralize some of the calcium and when calcium is neutralized it is not available for interaction of coagulation factors intrinsic pathway is a longer pathway it requires more calcium so intrinsic pathway flop it does not work right then they become very happy that by reducing calcium ion concentration we have failed the which pathway intrinsic pathway clear <coughs> Then you know some doctors are sadistic. There was a sadistic doctor who was working in laboratory. He found one mouse going there, and he was very good athletic. He took a shoe and hit on the mouse and killed it. <laughs> and I told you he's sadistic. He bring the mouse on the table, bring out its brain, and he was already having blood on which he has added some citrates, and it was not coagulating. I don't know what happened to his own mind. He took the some juice from the mouse of mouse brain and put into that and blood undergoes coagulation. He was surprised. He say coagulation if intrinsic pathway is paralyzed still coagulation can be done if some tissue juice is added <laughs> and because he said this pathway is activated when some tissue juice from the mouse brain is added he said this is not intrinsic pathway this is yeah. extrinsic yeah. path. This was the very original concept of intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway. Am I clear? Now let's come back. When injury is here, listen carefully, when injury is here, intrinsic pathway is activated as well as extrinsic pathway is activated. Why intrinsic pathway is activated? Because when blood comes in touch with the injured endothelial cell or blood comes in touch with subendothelial